Good morning. Hi guys, it's Alex from Redline here in beautiful Orange, California. And we have some really exciting news to share with you today. I'm here with my friend, David Marandino, who came out all the way from Ohio for this exciting day. And try for a minute to not look behind us because this is what we're talking about, okay? So um, thank you all for joining us. I know everyone's days are full and busy and we really appreciate you being a Redline supporter and being a part of our business as we've grown. So um, what we're here to tell you is that we have just launched our new speed smoke diagnostic leak detector. And this is first of its kind specifically for the aftermarket. And it's something that the aftermarket has been asking for for a while now. That's right. So David is an aftermarket expert. He was actually a mobile tool dealer and has worked across the industry. He really has that technical background as well as understanding what it's like to be on the dealer side. And so it's great to have you. Here. Thank you. Pretty excited to be here. We're really excited about the launch of the new speed smoke. Yeah, it's really exciting. And so, you know, we, I'm to just to digress for one second. We were at dinner last night with a bunch of friends and colleagues in the industry, and we had the most interesting conversation. So it just sort of spontaneously came up. People were talking about when they had worked for different companies, how product development happened. And um, one of the guys was saying, you know, we would kind of show up and engineering would say, ta-da, we made this thing that we think is really cool. And everybody would look at each other and say, wait, uh, people in the field don't need that. That doesn't fill the pain point that they have. This doesn't answer right. a problem, right. right? Somebody thought it was a good idea, but they never really took it to the street to find out why yeah. or what it should look like or how it should function. Yeah, and so in our process here at Redline is literally the exact opposite of that. So, you know, we have this great advantage that we work with a tremendous number of automakers and OEMs across different countries and different types of vehicles. So we go in and we meet with the engineers who are designing these engines, who are designing the, the systems and programs to maintain and repair these engines. So we see present model vehicles and future model vehicles that, um, you know, they don't release these cars until they have a system in place, the tools and the procedures to roll it out right across the whole dealer network. Well, what's happened is then, you know, in, when you think about the aftermarket, we're really talking about vehicles that are out of warranty, right? Right. So how many years Three old to is 10 that? years old is okay. the general aftermarket target. Maybe a little, a little more depending yeah. on where you live. But so somewhere hard. north of three years, kind of that three to 10 window. So, so what we know from all of our OEM business and um, all of these really smart guys is that, that this body of vehicles that are now out of warranty, there's an enormous percentage of them that are boosted. It used to be that you would hear technicians or shop owners say, yeah, I don't really work on import vehicles, or I don't really work on that, right? Well, guess what? Now, all of the nameplates, they have a huge percentage of the models that are boosted. And so, depending on where you live in the country, between 30 and 70% of out of warranty vehicles are boosted. Sure. So if you're here in Southern California where we are, you probably work on import vehicles, right? Ton of turbo, sure. right? If you're where you are in Ohio. Truck population is big there, just right? like you would see in other states like Texas where an F-150 is, you know, it's the world's best selling vehicle, uh, but in some states you'll see more of them than others. Absolutely, so an F-150 talking about Ford in particular, just as an example, when did Echo Boost come out? How long is it now? 2009. It has been okay. more than 10 model years of the Echo Boost engine. So they're That's in amazing. the aftermarket shops right now. That's amazing because you sort of think of this technology as being kind of new, but it's more than 10 years old. Right. So. We've seen it for years in the work we do yeah. with our OEM partners. And now that that's moving to the aftermarket, we had the chance to kind of foresee things. And that's why Speed Smoke was so important to get to the aftermarket. It's a tool that's that uses those same capabilities that we do for the OEMs, but was designed for the aftermarket for a critical application. So, so between three and seven out of 10 cars, 30 to 70% of vehicles that are 
out of warranty, so aftermarket repair shops are boosted. You can't repair those vehicles. You cannot accurately diagnose a boost leak. You know, you can try all these different strategies, but let me tell you, when it comes to a boost leak, you have to be able to replicate the boost of a running engine to test with the engine safely right. off, right? right? And this is the only way to do it. So beyond just the sheer number of turbocharged vehicles, you also have to understand that the onboard computer system for those vehicles are much more sensitive and they're monitoring things like boost pressure, but also the total amount of air that's flowing into the engine. Ah. So you need to be able to really diagnose that. You'll see codes like a P0299 that just says, hey, boost is low, but it doesn't give you a good idea why. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe it's a failed turbo. Probably not. Turbos are pretty good grade anymore. More than likely you have a leak, but you have to be able to pinpoint even small leaks and do it at that turbo pressure that we discussed. So the vehicle's safely off, but you're able to replicate that boosted environment when it, when it might be pulling a hill and creating that loss of power. So, so what you're really talking about is using this in coordination with the scan tool. It's not then instead of, it's your scan tool tells you, I've got a P0299 or whatever your code is, and then you go, okay, how do I pinpoint that? Because that's where the real time drain comes in. Right, right. right. And in the aftermarket, time is money. Exactly. And that's the exciting part you know, for me, being an ex flat rate technician, when it comes to speed smoke, it's a quick connection, but it's accurate proof that you do or do not have a leak. So unlike some things that get theoretical, speed smoke is just going to bear yeah. that burden of proving to you that you do or don't have a leak. So you can confidently move on with another diagnosis process. That's great. Okay. So to, if, if I can put you on the spot again, just a yep. little bit, tell me a little bit, just the high points technically of what we're looking at here. So this is the speed smoke. It is a dual purpose unit. It will do the high pressure testing we've discussed. It also has a side that will safely limit pressure for doing EVAP testing. So if you're doing those sensitive components in an EVAP system, you have the capability to limit to less than one PSI. Uh, but it does give you that option to both regulate and control flow to the, to the engine when we're trying to do those higher pressure systems. It's a very portable unit. It just needs 12 volt power to operate. It has its own internal compressor, which by the way, we really over spec to make sure that yeah. you've got the proper flow, uh, not just the pressure, but the flow to effectively test these vehicles. That's such an important point because some people miss that. They think it's all about the pressure. It's not. You've got to have the flow to for those bigger engines, especially if you're talking about things like the bigger trucks. And right. Whatnot, right. If you're doing the air over thing that may or may not work, you're kind of trying to cheat the system by putting a little bit of smoke in and then adding more air and more pressure, uh, but you're not adding more smoke. So it's really a challenge. We've eliminated that problem with the speed smoke. You have enough pressure, you have enough flow to get a really accurate test. I think that you said something a second ago that was really important and that's, you spoke to the quality about, we engineered this thing to the nth degree. Let me tell you, if you know Redline, you know that we are all about making the absolute best quality and best design. So this was two years in engineering and development. So what I what I want to say about that is, you know, you are <coughs> going to have here an aftermarket workhorse, right? Right. That's that's two years of engineering and proving it out on top of the few years that we had working with OEM. So this has been a process for us come for a while. We're not new to the market on this. Uh, doesn't hurt that it's a pretty good looking machine. We, we definitely took some time to make sure it had some appeal, kind of had that uh, old school dashboard look to it. That, uh, we've come to know and like about Redline products. Great workhorse machines, uh, but pretty good looking too, it doesn't hurt. I love the design. I think it's so beautiful and we've never done something with this, you know, stainless and, you know, the vintage logo. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, you know, it might be, I think, the most cool machine that we've ever made. I'll take so. that since it's the only one I've been involved yeah. in development. I'll take that. <laughs> so um that you know this this is inside this machine, the technology is the same technology that has been mandated by automakers in 114 countries, people like General Motors and Nissan, Jaguar Land Rover, Mazda, um, Infinity, Subaru, you know, all kinds of great automakers. Um, and they know, you know, the reason that they've done that, they don't do this lightly. The reason they've done that is because they know that technicians have to have this technology to be able to effectively diagnose and service 
boosted vehicles to fix it right the first time. Right. I think it is important to note to the aftermarket, we talk about the OEMs, but this is not something that the OEMs have done in the last few years. We discussed the EcoBoost back in 2009. You see a huge uptick in the number of turbocharged vehicles, but they're in the aftermarket now. So uh, we feel the timing is great. Technicians really need to take a look at this to see how to speed up their diagnostic times. You just can't, as an aftermarket shop, if you don't have the ability to accurately pinpoint diagnose and repair boost leaks the first time, your customers are going to go down the road because somebody does. And this is just that thing, you know, um, as cars evolve, technicians have to evolve. They have to learn new skills. They have to have new tools. And this is where we're at now is um, all of the automakers are using boosted strategies, turbo, diesel, supercharged, boost, echo boost strategies to um, get great performance and improve emissions and improve fuel economy. So this is where we're at, guys, and you got to adopt it. So get on board. You can count on Redline to be coming at you with great education. Look for our tech tips, and you're going to see a lot coming up with this beautiful guy right here, Speed Smoke, not Dave, Speed Smoke. <laughs> and you're going to see a lot of technical education coming forward with this. And um, where can people find out? Uh, it is exclusively available through Matco Tools right now. So you can contact Matco Tools, contact your Matco Tools distributor. I'm sure they're in your shop every week. So a great opportunity. Uh, they'll they'll have some literature coming out too. You'll see a lot of information from them. They think this is a critical piece and are excited to be partnering with us. I think it's a really exciting time too. It's a, it's an amazing um, piece of equipment, amazing piece of engineering. And um, if you have specific questions about either Speed Smoke or about applications and how it's used or anything, we actually, as an American manufacturer, one of the great advantages is. Our team is right here, a phone call away, and we have ASC certified master techs right here. So don't hesitate to give us a call with your technical questions, right. and we're happy to answer them and uh, get you connected. I, I don't know if we stress that enough, but you see them all behind mm -hmm. us. Go less than 100 yards of that way, and the team is building these here in the U.S. So I, I don't know that we called that out earlier, uh, but we're pretty proud of that. We're still building things here in the U.S.A. Yeah, this is uh, made in America quality. And I think that means something. How about you? It means something to me. I think there's a few people out there that share that. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you guys for joining us today. We are super excited about Speed Smoke and can't wait to get your feedback. Please ask questions, send us messages, and give us a call.